guys, it's Mitchie, and welcome to my 38 week pregnancy update. So I am 38 weeks and 5 days pregnant today, which is insane because that means I am just 9 weeks from my due date. Hopefully little miss will be here any day now, but feeling she may be stubborn and stick around until her due date, or even possibly pass, but we'll see. So we'll just go ahead and start off with symptoms. Um, swelling being first and foremost, um, you just constantly have swollen feet and swollen ankles and swollen toes and legs and swelling just, yep, that's just what, what I, uh, I have now. Um, I pretty much just wear uh, Chris's slippers all the time now that I am officially off work on maternity leave. Um, early leave, I should say, since I haven't actually had her yet. Um, speaking of which, the reason why I am officially on leave is because I can barely walk, let alone um, stand or bend or lift anything. Um, everything is pretty much struggle. It takes me minutes to walk across my apartment. It's, uh, it's rough. It's, it's very rough. That's why I'm saying, kid, like, any, anytime you want to come now is fine. I am, I am so ready. We have literally everything we could basically need ready for you. We just, we need you to get here. <laughs> um, exhaustion. I'm basically tired 24-7. Don't think there's really a period of time when I'm not feeling like I couldn't just lay down and take a nap. Um, which pretty much just tells me that she'll be here any freaking time now. Um, so I'm in that sense, I am very grateful to be out of work now so that I can just sleep whenever and just not worry about things like that, thank goodness. Um, pretty much all my paperwork for my leave is all set in stone now. The only thing I have left to do is take in my doctor's note saying I'm taking my leave early tonight, which Chris is going to take that in for me. And then I literally just have to basically let everybody know after I have her so they can finish off and finalize the paperwork and get my disability and not worry about anything else with that for with work until I'm going back. Um, <clears throat> which brings me to the next symptom, um, contractions. Um, I've definitely been having some contractions, um, nothing too crazy or consistent. Um, they're definitely starting to get a little bit more, um, intense. Nothing still like labor at all. Um, however, they do kind of stop me for a minute sometimes. So that's been interesting. Um, but yeah, nothing labor contraction wise yet. It's pretty much all just been Braxton Hicks at this point. Which sucks because I am just so ready to have this child and just, I'm just ready. I'm just so, so ready. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically uh, I've been feeling fine for the most part. Um, I still get nauseous here and there. Hasn't been too bad. Um, I've been kind of, I've definitely been crampy a lot, like pretty much every day I've been crampy at least at some point, like right now actually I'm starting to get crampy. I may even have a contraction here in a second. Or maybe I'm technically already having a small one, but um, yeah, um, definitely getting closer and closer to having this child. I do not think I will make it to my due date, um, but we will see. As I keep saying, um, I had my 38 week appointment yesterday. 
Um, nothing new to really report. She's still doing very good. Um, she wanted to take a nap during my NST. Then she woke up right afterwards for my ultrasound and passed um, all that she needed to pass with all of that. Um, so her size is good, fluid's good. Um, nothing really to be concerned with with that. Again, we're really just waiting on her to show up any day or any time at this point. Um, I have my 39 week appointment scheduled for the day before my due date, so I'm really, really, really hoping that I do not make it to that appointment, but if I do, I do, and it is what it is. Um, but it's crazy to think that if I even have one more appointment that I will have probably one more appointment before I have her. That's insane. Insane. Prepping and nursery. Um, pretty much we are completely done prepping for her. Um, the nursery is basically literally complete. The only thing I have left to do, or we have left to do, whoever ends up doing it, um, I need to put the name letters up above her crib, which we have now. We're just uh, need to get some command strips for to stick those up. And we're going to put up the little flower vine, excuse me decorations with that as well so um then pretty much um just kind of need to get a humidifier uh that is an issue we do have here it is very dry and this winter i feel is just going to make it so much worse i feel like it's going to be a very rough rough winter so i am just trying to prepare as much as I can now because I'm basically going to be on maternity leave during the time that you would be preparing for um, winter and stocking up and getting everything you need to survive the snow and cold weather and the dryness and who knows with how everything's been going on in our world, possible shortages. So I'm just trying to think and plan ahead for that. Um, so a humidifier, I also plan on stocking up on groceries and other household necessities possibly. Um, so look, maybe look forward to that in the future. Um, if I do end up doing that, I will most likely make a video on it. Um, we have her car seat base installed also in the car now. We have the car vacuumed out. We're just, uh, need to basically finish cleaning off cleaning up the seats with the little uh upholstery spray and brush um, which that isn't going to take very long at all maybe like five ten minutes <laughs> or so car wipes for like the dash and stuff so we just need to wipe that down um and that's pretty much basically everything we could possibly have ready for this child before her arrival. Everything else is pretty much set at this point now. Um, there's nothing else we absolutely need before she shows up. She is all set, has everything, plenty of clothes, plenty of diapers um, for now. Yeah, we are set. Which brings me to the next topic, which is uh, future videos. Um, I do plan on making a nursery tour video here very soon. Um, I kind of wanted to wait until we got the stuff up above her crib, but I may just go ahead and make the video without it, and I may just, like, lay out what's going to be above her crib on the floor or something so you can kind of get the idea, um, in case, you know, because I kind of like to get that made before she shows up. And she's gonna be here any any time now. I don't know if I'll be able to get all those letters hung up beforehand. Um, but we'll see how I'm feeling because, like I said, I'm super tired. So ain't gonna be much videos made 
support um, before this child comes. The other couple of things I wanted to mention um, were my cat, actually, or cat situation. Um, we did have two cats at the beginning of this pregnancy. Um, sadly, we had to get rid of or rehome, I would like to say better, um, one of our cats, Alice, because she was just getting to be too much, um, too high maintenance, too loud, and just would never stop meowing no matter what you did. So we just, for our better sanity with a new baby coming, we had to um, end up bringing her back to the shelter. And um, actually seems like she recently just a week with within a week of us bringing her in back in um it seems like she did get adopted out again so we're very grateful for that hopefully um her new home is better than the one she had here because she just wasn't apparently happy here unfortunately um but we still have the other cat we adopted um chonk so she has actually been our biggest buddy. She's been following me around all the time, all of the time. Um, right now she's actually laying in a tent in the living room, but most of the time she is right next to me up my butt, just making sure I'm okay and everything. So she's definitely gonna be a good little buddy to the baby, I think. So that's awesome. Um, the only other thing I believe I have to update on is that this weekend and okay, so today's Thursday, um, tomorrow night, Friday, I should say afternoon, um, Chris and I are actually supposed to be going to a rehearsal dinner for his friend's wedding. Chris is actually in the wedding. Um, he is one of the groomsmen. Um, he is supposed to be in the wedding this Saturday, so two days from now, um, which is this Saturday is a week from my due date. Right now I am nine days from my due date and she could be here anytime. So we're really just playing this by ear to see if she comes on or before their wedding and if we make it to their wedding because we would both like to go but uh baby may change our fate for that so we shall see how things go with that and uh may keep an update on um <laughs> how all of that's going um i may end up vlogging this weekend for that reason um see how I'm feeling and how much I'm able to actually film without feeling awkward around people um, considering it won't be like my event going on or anything and we'll see if I make it to a 39 week video um, I'll probably definitely make one before my 39 week appointment since it's so close to my due date and my 40 weeks that'll technically be 39 and six days at my 39 week appointment so definitely make it before then probably like monday or tuesday or so if she doesn't come this weekend but uh without further ado i guess i will go ahead and give you a 38 week belly shot possibly my last one but we'll leave again we will see here is the view from the front shirt down from the side shirt down my belly is just hanging off the freaking bottom of my shirt um full shirt up I am just carrying a freaking watermelon at this point, so yeah. 
she is so freaking low and I'm just so ready for her to come. So, so ready. That is it for today's video. Like I said, uh, I plan on making a nursery tour video um, very, very soon here in the next couple of days. Um, maybe even later today if I'm feeling up to it. Um, so I will definitely get that up for you or should get that up for you before she's here. If not, I will definitely get that up for you after she's here. Um, so stay tuned and I will see you for my 39 week video. I make it that far and if not, I will see you with a newborn baby. So, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you are enjoying my videos and want to keep following along. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.